another day, another Audi's haul. I wanna get some groceries. I'm gonna try my best not to be passing the fucking control video. But I am still very, very pregnant. So, Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, really? You see my bikes over here? Oh. Oh, yeah. I think you just got a lucky one. It's $2 off. I think you just got a lucky one. Alrighty. So I definitely need some of these. I think this time it's going to take a whole box. Because... <laughs> Last time I took six, they were gone so quick. The kids really like them, and then they're home this week yeah. for break. So I'm gonna take this whole box. I need both hands, guys. Hold on. And then they only have three things of grapes. Last time I think I got three. I'm just gonna grab two. That one. I mean, this one don't really either, but whatever. I need at least two of them. And that's the only box they have here. Cookie. It's $3.99 with $2 off. Markdown taken at register. So I guess it will only be $1.99. And you're supposed to warm it up and then eat it. I'm going to actually grab two of these. I think the kids might like this. And for dinner, we'll probably do the pizza with the cookies for dessert. I don't know if you guys noticed, but whenever I go grocery shopping, that day, I usually don't want to cook, so and we're gonna have a pizza cooking night for dinner tonight. All right, we have bananas for 54 cent a pound. I'm definitely gonna grab a few bunches of these, probably about four. And then these oranges are $4.49. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Mm, I guess I'll do two of these today. Like I said, with the kids being home, they're eating a lot more fruits and stuff than they normally would throughout the day. So I definitely have to account for that. They do have other brands of oranges. Oh, those are, yeah, those are oranges. Sweet and seedless for $4.49. I got the ones down there, but they also have mangoes, $1.69 each. So. Too soft, but uh, I think I'll wait on those. Honestly, I'm looking for things that's quick. Again, with being pregnant, I literally just <laughs> looking for quick on the go, grab and go type things, which make us good be grab and go, obviously. But the kids can't really cut them themselves, so. Grab two bags of apples. And then of course, I'm gonna grab some muffins. I'm gonna do three packs of the blueberry. 
is the last three. They must have been very busy the last couple of days. But with so many kids being home, I went and doubted. And those are three ninety five. I'm getting three blueberries and two chocolate chips. Definitely gonna grab some bagels because I've been cooking pancakes like every morning and I am over it. Being pregnant, making pancakes every day is just not fun. But with all the kids being home, we need breakfast every day and we run out of cereal. So yeah so we got four packs of bagels plain bagels and maybe i'll do two of the cinnamon raisin as well so a total of six packs of bagels and believe it or not those are going to be gone definitely by the end of this week all right so i'm going to be grabbing two loaves of bread the kids can eat peanut butter and jelly like literally every day and not get tired. So I'm just gonna grab two for now, but I'll probably need more bread before the week is out. And then this is my, one of my favorite snacks, the soft popcorn. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those for me. And the kids if they want some, obviously, but I buy these more so with myself and mine. I'm gonna grab some hot dog buns. Cause I plan to buy, buy some hot dogs. 129. I'm gonna grab uh, two will be enough. And I'm also gonna be grabbing some hamburgers this week. So I'll grab two packs of the hamburger buns as well. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of quick meals just because <sighs> life is difficult right now <laughs> um gonna grab three of these because again guys this is only for a week so um i don't have to overdo it too much they go back to school next week so we're gonna change a lot as far as how much food we need during the week because they eat lunch at school. They also sometimes eat breakfast at school. So, um, definitely gonna buy some snacks, like some chips to boy. And I see a lot of comments of people saying like, oh, so much processed foods. But like I said, a pack of these, anyone in my house gets two serving sizes before the whole pack is gone. So it's not like they're eating this for every meal or more than once or twice a week. $5.98 for both of these. And then also I like the, do they have the, it's like the wheat, okay, yeah. The thin wheats. I like these. Okay, they have the original this time. So I'm gonna actually grab two of these. And these are really good with like the cheese home um, little triangle things that they have. That's like laughing cow, but like all these brands of it. And also some Ritz crackers, $4.49. These are really good when I wanna like make like a at home lunchable, basically. So I think I'm gonna get two of those. Cause again, there's a lot of people. So these go pretty quick. And I'll give them like, give them like a whole pack to themselves, a small, cause they're smaller packs. And then a few pieces of ham, pieces of cheese, and they have like at home lunchables. And then I'm gonna grab some of these for me. I'm really into like crackers and stuff like that, so. Alrighty, and then 
I'm also gonna be grabbing this time some tortilla chips. They got like a really good, easy snack when I have like taco night, which I'm gonna be doing like a Chipotle night. So I'm gonna grab some of these. But I'm also gonna grab some of their salsa. Their queso is really good too. Um, is a medium so I'll grab one of these too. Like I said these are really good when you just have like a taco bite and you want like some chips on the side. You can do the tortillas. You can use these for the tacos and for the chips and then just heat this up and put it in a bowl and it's really good. Um, I don't really plan to do any like trays or anything but if you're going to be doing like a cheese tray cheese and crackers stuff like that obviously you've seen where the crackers are at and then they have like the different kinds of cheeses that you guys can cut up and do like a cute little tray so many different kinds they also have feta cheese over there from 189 so but i am looking for the cheese like little triangles, which is like, a, like I said, an offering of the laughing cow. Oh, here they are. And they're really, really good. I know someone was saying that you're not supposed to eat like soft serve cheese when you're pregnant. Um, yeah, I missed that memo. So. I don't know. <laughs> and their shredded cheeses are really good price. $2.89 and you get three cups. So they got Mexican, they got sharp cheddar, they got almost everything. Mild cheddar, mozzarella. And it's almost telling me also that I should buy this cheese, like the brick cheese and basically cut it up myself which I probably will do in a couple weeks but I'm not really looking for any extra work right now so won't be something I do this haul but I definitely thought about that and it was probably going to be a better option all right so the crescent rolls I mean not the crescent rolls the cinnamon rolls they're on sale they're usually $1.99 so I'm definitely gonna grab like eight of these. Um, they're regular biscuits I like for 179. I'll grab about four of these. And then also, I don't buy the flaky ones, but they do have those as an option, the same price. And then I'll also grab some crescent rolls. Um, I'm gonna grab about six to eight of these. And these are so good just to eat by themselves. You can do them with breakfast. You can do them with a type of gravy meal. But then I also make these pizza roll-ups with these. And you just use mozzarella cheese, some pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce, and then some pepperonis. Roll them up just how you do with the regular crescent rolls and bake them. And it comes together like a really nice pizza roll. Like it's really good. So just some options for you guys. I'm gonna grab six of these. Right, so I got four of the biscuits, eight of the cinnamon rolls, cause the kids love these. Like I said, they make them themselves and they're really good. So those go pretty quick, at least two to three times a week. Um, and then I got six of the crescent rolls, which like I said, I do like those pizza roll things for the kids or just make them for breakfast with some sausages and eggs. There's so many options. Okay, so these are new. They have Reese's cookie dough poppins. Um, I don't, safe to eat raw. Do not bake. So, I guess you're supposed to just eat these by them, you know, without baking them. And then they also have the chocolate chip 
ones. I thought you were heat treated flower. Huh. So they're not meant to be like baked like cookies. They're just meant to eat like that. Um, I'm not interested, but this is something new that they just started. And they're $5.49 a pack. So it looks like their salmon is off 50% off. Um, we're not big salmon eaters, but someone's gonna be happy about that. However, their Italian sausages, we are big on those. So they have mild and original. I'm gonna do the mild. I'm just gonna grab, I guess I'll do three. If we were to eat these, whenever we do eat them, We'll need three packs and i'll just take some peppers and onions cut them up and that's a nice meal um, i don't really need many meats except some chicken breast this week so but they do have like i said a really nice section and I'm just gonna grab the chicken breast that I need this is a pretty good price 10 41 you get four nice sides and I'm making like a chipotle bowl type night so four of them will be enough so I'm gonna be cutting them up I'm gonna have to grab two of them though just Okay, so I decided to make something else with the chicken breast. Eleven sixty for this one. And you get four decent sized ones as well. So their wings also seem to be really priced. Priced really good this week. They have eleven twenty four, and you get quite a a bit um should I grab I mean why not they're both 11 on these two I'm gonna grab both of these for 11 24 sausages they're good with either one bacon or sausages for breakfast so I pretty much just go by what's on sale or what's gonna be a better deal for us and since the bacon is 425 I'll just get the sausage patties I bought a bunch of bagels anyway so I can do the sausage egg and cheese bagels stuff like that and I was planning to make hot dogs but then I seen the Italian sausages, so what I'll probably do is use the hot dog bun just to do Italian sausages with the onions and peppers. So I don't have to, uh, you know, I'll still grab some hot dogs because with them being home from school, they'll definitely still use them for something throughout the week. They're 129, so just a cheap meal last minute when they're saying that they're hungry again for the third time in a day before dinner. I put the stodies in the oven. And that would be pretty good for them. I definitely need butter. I'm like down to my last stick of butter, which is like never good for my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab four packs of butter. I 
And I just did a plain one. They have strawberry too. For the same price. $1.99. But I personally just like the plain ones. So. And then their sour cream, $1.69. I always grab two. Because we'll have something with sour cream. Probably about twice this week. Half and half is $2.79 this week. I'm just gonna grab two since I do plan on coming back next week. So two would be enough. All right. And then also I'm out of heavy whipping cream, which like I told you guys, I use for like some gravy meals. I also use it when I make Alfredo. So I'm gonna grab two of those as well. Is, oh, and that is, by the way, $5.49 for the heavy whipping cream, which is always on the pricey side, no matter where you go. And then they have $2.48 for their eggs. Um, I got two of those, which as you can see, they're getting back reasonably priced since before they were like three something so luckily they're going back down i'm just gonna grab two of those for now maybe i'll do three no you know what i think two should be enough for the rest of this week Alrighty. And then their chicken i guess they have Thankfully this week, five nineteen. I'm gonna grab two of those. They're really good, honestly. If you haven't tried them, the kids like them. So, and one pack is usually enough. Um, worst case scenario. Two packs, but usually one pack is enough to take care of everybody. I'm gonna grab some of these beach patties. They're eleven ninety nine. They're really easy. You can literally cook them from frozen. You just don't want to skill it, fry them up. And one pack feeds my house. But you know what? I don't know why it looks like it's less in here. Oh, it's 12 of them. Was it not like 15? Cause I know 12 wouldn't be enough for my entire family. But I usually get one. So I'm gonna get two. I usually get two, but because I'm shopping for like weeks at a time. But because I'm only shopping for one week, I was only gonna get one. But I'm like, I don't think 12 would be enough. I definitely would need more than 12, so. I'm just gonna grab two. All right, and then shrimp. The one that I like is uh, $5.59. Wait, is that it? Well, but these are jumbo. I don't know those mean, yeah. I like the jumbo one, so. I'm gonna grab two of these for $5.59. And this is good for like shrimp Alfredo. Easy meal, so definitely a must have. And I'm also gonna grab some of these steak fries for whenever we make nuggets or when we make the cheeseburgers. These are $2.79. And they said they like the steak fries more than the crinkle fries, but they did say they like the cater tots more than the steak fries. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the tater tots. They call them potato puffs, but they're the same as the tater tots, if you can see. And those are three thirty-nine, so they're a little bit more expensive. But I know that they'll definitely eat those where the fries are hitting this sometimes. 
really, really have the sausage patties. These are the ones I'm always talking about. They're $8.59 and I'm gonna grab two of those. I'm gonna have to pack these my entire family. So this would be two with four separate meals that I can get with these. Whether I use them for sausage, egg, and cheese bagels, just sausage with the egg on the side, something like that. It's just, there's a lot of options, a lot of options. All right, and then, their orange juice, 269. And I like these again, like I told you guys. They just make, they're so easy to make and they stay frozen until I'm ready to use it. And because you have to actually make them, the kids won't drink them before I make breakfast. So they're always there in the freezer when I need orange juice. And the orange juice comes out so good. So highly recommend it. All right. So they do have chicken wings in here, um, $11.99. And usually, I wouldn't get them here because I go to other stores too. So because I'm doing all of my shopping here, I'm gonna go ahead. They just look so small too. But we'll see. I'm gonna give them a try. I think one pack is enough. Worst case scenario, two packs is too much. And I'll have to like save some for the next day for leftovers. But again, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of them. And they're 11 and 9 each. Believe it or not, after that last grocery haul, I am completely out of pasta already. So I'm gonna grab two of the pea noodles. Cause like I said, this is only for a week. So, and then I'm gonna grab one of the fettuccine. Says two pounds is enough for my family. So that will be two separate pasta meals or Alfredo meals that I could use that for. Tortillas I'm actually gonna get them this time. Like I told you guys, I haven't been liking them too much, but I think it's just, you know how pregnancy is, your body just responds differently than normal, but the kids still like them. So worst case scenario, when they have tacos, I'll have a taco salad, but I really wanna get all my shopping done just here, without having to go to the other stores. So this is what we're gonna do. Got some taco seasoning. I already have ground beef at home. So this I was looking for is their shaved beef. It's $5.49. Is that a pound? I don't know if it's per pack or per pound, but they have four left. So I'm gonna grab two of these. This is for like steak hoagies, which definitely sounds like a great option for this week so like i said i seen someone using this on like a video and it looked really really good when it came out for the steak subs so i'm like i definitely want to try this and the price doesn't seem bad 5.49 a pound or either yeah so this is should be under because it's not even a pound it's just 14 ounces so i think this 5.49 each and I'm pretty sure two will be enough for my family. So maybe I could do three. Um, I'm gonna go with two. I think that should be enough. So I have been really, really, really wanting applesauce. And I know I can make it, but again, guys, minimum work for this pregnant lady. So 259 for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it. 
And just in case the kids want some, which they probably will, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of them. And that don't look like it's gonna be enough for everybody. But you know what, I'll grab these for me. And then for them, they have this for $1.95. And this is a unsweetened applesauce apple blend and they come with six so you know what they actually have the bigger one of this too but i don't know if the unsweetened is like not gonna take care of my craving so i'm gonna get this for me to try because it says original and i'm gonna get this one for the kids because it's already nicely you know packaged for them to just grab one and go and then i am completely out of ranch dressing so i you know i know for sure i need mayo which they have the hellman's mail for 329 so i'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those and then uh, i was gonna grab some ranch i'll grab a small one 195. The kids like to eat it with like their nuggets. So I just want to make sure we have some. Now I'm not gonna lie, I hate when my car gets super packed like this because I feel like it'd be still stuff I have to get that I'm forgetting because I'm more worried about the car being too full. Like I know I need vegetables, like lettuce, tomatoes, which I'm gonna grab now. Um but for some reason I still feel like I might just need a second cart because I think it might be a little bit more that I need that I'm not getting because I keep looking at my cart that's like over spilling right now. So, so I usually never do this because I always feel so lazy, but again, cut a couple corners. So I'm just gonna grab some shredded lettuce when we have tacos. They're 189. So I'll grab two of them and then I'm gonna grab some tomatoes from the other side. And that should basically be everything I need. Um I think. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like I would have totally forgot that I needed peppers for when I make the Italian sausages. And then I also need green peppers for a lot of things. <laughs> Specifically when I make the chipotle taco type full night. I'm gonna need those. So these are $239. And then the multicolored peppers are Like one yellow, one orange, one red, but that just seemed to be an option. They all have like two yellows, one red, two reds, one orange. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one that just has. yellow and orange is more so what I would need but I can't even know. well this one kind of looks orange so I guess this is the best that I'm gonna get and then I'm also gonna need the tomatoes so I'm gonna oh they have some already pre 289 for these ones that's like in the one of them I'm gonna just grab these. And then our cereals. It's like 441. The cinnamon toast crunch. Cocoa pebbles for 409. I think I'm gonna go with the cocoa pebbles. Because those are what I know everybody likes. They like cinnamon toast crunch too. Actually, I'll get two. 
cocoa pebbles for 409 and then one cinnamon toast crunch for 441. I am completely out because I've been making pancakes like every day. So, should I get this? But I don't see the pancakes over here. You know what? I got so many breakfast items. I'm not going to make pancakes anymore this break, just being honest. So, I'm going to wait. Maybe next week I'll get this served with pancakes. But I think all the bagels and the sausages and I think all of that would be great for this week so we're gonna go to the front now I said my goal was 300 I'm thinking I did more about 400 but we'll see and I'll come back the day that I make the steak subs to get the bread because those usually go bad pretty quickly so I'd rather just wait till that day and come back and get them when I actually need them so let's see fingers crossed that it's under 400 we'll see though I'll let you guys know as always once I ring out so as I was about to walk out I see these for six I'm sorry two 89 for six for roll ups so I'm gonna grab two of these and these are just going my personal stash that the kids don't know though Alright, so I got all the groceries put up basically so we can go home now. And the total came to $488.81. $488.81. And that included 10 bags. So that's it for this haul, guys. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.